Welcome to Design a Dwelling, Volume 2. I'm Doug Patton. This is a series where we pick a site and put a house on it. Other than a medieval anomaly, or a drawbridge with a small structure for operation, it's not very likely you'll see a house built on a bridge anytime soon. With that in mind, this bridge site at the Grand Canyon is perfect for our purposes for a house. Any building placed on this structure would be able to take advantage of the thrilling view, and if designed properly, the vista would be completely unobstructed. So, I did some thinking about the building, and I like the analogy of creating a home that is something like a cork is to a wine bottle. In simple terms, just as a cork is round and fits the round neck of a bottle, the house would be rectangular, fitting the rectangular cutout of the shape of the structure. As noted in previous episodes, I'm always more inclined to go modern, and this site really lends itself to that aesthetic. To get an idea of how big this house is going to be, we can gauge the scale of the photo from the people on the bridge. The first design I completed followed my original sketch fairly closely. The configuration stayed pretty true to the idea of a rectangular shape with simple cutouts and geometrical forms for openings and windows. However, The design fails to take any real advantage of the most important factor the site has to offer, the view. Now remember, this exercise is simply to describe what an architect might be thinking about in a schematic way, if cost and schedule were in no way an issue. It also assumes that just about anything is possible. So I began rethinking the design as well as the method by which someone actually enters the house. Let's get a little fantastic here and assume the bridge is well-traveled, but the owner has the exclusive right to use the site. Let's say they use an entrance from bridge level to get into the home. By the way, I have no idea where they park their car. Now, to create the image, as in the first example, I overlay the sketch on the photo to make sure the scale and position were correct. I added shade and shadow, as well as a light filter, to alter the color slightly, and finally a change in the value of the background image to make the new building really stand out. The second design includes an elevator, as well as a large living space, an observation deck, and an enclosed lookout space for viewing the Grand Canyon. And there you have it, a modern bridge dwelling. So, thanks for checking out Volume 2 of Design a Dwelling. This is Doug Pat. See you next time on How To Architect.